Hello everyone, welcome back to another NetBeans tutorial. And I haven't done one of these in a long time because I've actually forgotten to show you guys file choosers. This is what it looks like. You can see you can plot it down onto your GUI and um, it takes up way too much space. And also there's this big gap in between the different uh, places of the file chooser. So ideally you want to be able to open it by clicking a button. So I've created a button here, there's no code in there yet. However, I have created a basic piece of code to read a text file, created a class. If you don't want to read a text file, this is basically the code right here, I'm not going to explain it. But basically the key part is you select your file name and the file name is basically tutorial.text right here. You have to obviously supply the extension but um, our code doesn't actually need to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that because our code automatically knows what's what. So okay here we go and what you first you want to do is you want to create a J file chooser. So you can say J file chooser and then give it a name chooser equals new j file chooser okay now we want to say we want to actually open the thing and show it to the user so we want to say int return val return value equals our j file chooser variable name which in this case is called chooser dot show open dialog and then in here we want to select or we want to type in now and this is basically all we need to show a file chooser those two lines of code if I click it there you go you can see it looks much better and you can obviously select different things on the left you can go anywhere in your computer and uh, yeah okay so what we want to do is we want to be able to perform some sort of function as soon as we click the open button on the J file chooser. So let's say we want to open up a text file, which in this case we do, and then obviously we're going to add code to read the text file and display it out to us. So we want to create an if statement, if return val equals equals J file choose dot approve option. There you go, that's all you need. And now what we want to do is we want to get our file name. So basically we want to get tutorial.text. Um, if I right click on this and go to properties, you can see it says text document. So in real life this file name will actually be tutorial.txt. However, when you're working with Java and reading text files or anything for that matter, you usually always have to have your code in the same location as your file that you want to read or write or whatever. And in this case, obviously if you're trying to distribute your program, not everyone's going to say, okay, let me move this text file information to this direction on my computer, because not everyone understands computers in the same way as a programmer. So we want to basically be able to sort of import the text file. And the way we do that is we're going to get the exact directory of this file. So we're not just going to get tutorial.txt, we're going to get c double dot slash users uh, john document desktop tutorial.txt. That's how the code is going to read it. And um, to do that we're going to have to say file and then just give this a file name, file my file equals and then your file chooser's variable name which in this case is called chooser dot get selected file and now that we've gotten the file name we need to convert it to a string because my code needs a string so I'm going to say string text equals my file plus there we go now that's all you need to get your file chooser up and running 100%. Uh, obviously you can make a few enhancements which I'll show you near the end of the video and basically from this one, two, three, four, five, five lines of code 
is compulsory the rest uh, you can do whatever you want with it so in this case I'm going to say read text file rtf equals new read text file basically create an instance of the class rtf dot read file text you guys don't have to worry too much about that that's basically reading the text file so I want to read the text file on my desktop so go to desktop look for tutorial.txt right there click on open and there you go you can see I was able to output the um, the text that was in the text file pretty basic and uh, obviously you can put this into a GUI but it's just much simpler to put in this output window and uh, now that we've got that up and running we're going to make a few enhancements now basically as you can see here the files of type is always set to all files and also the default directory is the my documents however what happens if you want to make it into your D drive your codes and uh, you want it to open this as your default well you can actually do that that's really simple all you have to do is go to the line of code where we chose our uh, sorry where we created our J file chooser and then in the brackets put a string and then you can type in whatever you want in here so d double dot slash music and this should open in my music folder if I type that correctly and there you go you can see it's opened in my D drive in the music folder and I can access all my songs in here obviously this is not a music chooser but I did actually make one in Project Jarvis Mini I'll show you guys that right at the end of the video but uh, okay so once we've done that we need to create a filter so what we're going to say is we're going to say file filter give it a name filter equals new file name extension filter file name extension filter and the parameters for this is that you need to have two strings the first string is basically a label for what you want to approve so I only want to be able to make the user choose text files so I'm going to name this text files and I'm going to put a space and an underscore to show you guys where where it shows up and then the second one is important this has to be txt and you can have more of these so let's say you want to accept txt and uh, inf files as well as cfg those are all the files that you can accept and uh, the first one doesn't really matter this one this one and this one does so the extension names obviously has to be correct and now that we've got a filter after this after we've uh, this line of code where we've created our chooser we're gonna have one that says chooser dot add choosable file filter and in its brackets we're gonna type in filter and there we go basically this filter and file filter filter is the same so this basic this line of code here basically adds our filter to the uh, JFile file chooser so now if you run it choose file here you go you can see our text files space underscore shows up this is basically like I said the label and I had two songs here you can see it no longer shows up and in our music folder there's no songs because it's only accepting text files if I choose all files there we go and you can see it does execute hopefully this won't take too long but uh, yeah so I think it's done maybe no I've crashed my computer probably but uh, yeah so that is a bit of a problem okay so it's finally stopped go to my desktop tutorial there we go see everything works fine now I'll show you guys my my program this is what it looks like it's a uh, home automation program you can see I have the lights you can control your home lights with that home layout pictures videos music and uh, click on that and you can see it opens up in my D drive music folder and I can play some Eminem let's go for 
drop the world. And there you go, you can hear the song playing. Hopefully it's not too loud. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you could use a JF file chooser. And uh, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, please don't forget to leave us a comment, like the video if you do like it. If you don't like it, just click like anyways. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.